What's up guys, Lego here with Dyna Demos and today we're gonna to be doing an install that I am extremely excited for. Today we're gonna to be installing the Death Grip MC Canyon Carver Steering Damper. Now that was a mouthful, but I'll put it up there on the screen and then later on in the video, I'll give you guys all the information on the steering damper of where you can get it and a little bit about it. So the reason that I'm super excited for this install is for those of you guys that watch my videos and have seen my previous videos, you guys know I love ripping the canyons, all the back roads, all the canyon roads out in San Diego or up north. Um, so I'm gonna put this thing to the test. When Eric reached out to me, I was excited because I didn't wanna drop $900 on a GPR stabilizer and at a price point of $270, that's uh, with shipping. I think that's what they're going for. Uh, I couldn't say no. Um, so I'm super excited to get to this install. And if it sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. And if you guys happen to like the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. First things first, before we even get to the install, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing on my FXR. So it's kind of pulled apart right now. You guys see it's missing the rear fender and it's missing the forward fender. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, corrosion in the paint and it was just chipped up and stuff. So I'm actually headed up to LA tomorrow to get my fenders painted. I got some new ones from uh, Ramjet. So those are already in my truck. Uh, I'm gonna head up there tomorrow, get them painted. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be in paint jail, but I'm excited for that. Uh, after that, I'm all done with this thing and I'm ready to start ripping on this thing again. I freaking missed it. Um, yeah, only thing it's missing is the fenders. Love this thing. Nothing like 87. And here she is guys, this is my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S with the plus two suspension in the front. Uh, what makes it plus two is I got the dampener rods in there from Tracker Die. Uh, I got Racetech Springs, emulators, all that good stuff up in there uh, with the adjustable preload um, on the top. That's pretty sweet. Uh, up top, I got the gauge relocation. Gauge relocation, that's from KNS Customs. Freaking love that thing. I don't gotta look down on the dash. Um, and he is offering uh, new dash cutouts now. Uh, they're all anodized and they look super pretty. So I'll probably be hitting, it up, hitting him up for one of those uh, later on. The most recent thing I, de I did wasn't anything big. I just relocated my bar bag to my battery cover. Uh, that was my last video. I'll post it up there on the screen so you can see. But then you guys may be interested in the rear suspension, which is 14 inch RWD RS1s. So that's my suspension setup on my Dyna. I just wanted to talk about that real quick because uh, when I talk about the steering damper, it all makes sense to you guys. All right, guys, here's the kit. Uh, I'll go over the parts after I talk about this a little bit. So should fit 06 to 17 Dynas. Uh, hit him up for exact fitment of your uh, specific bike. He should be able to tell you if it fits or not. Uh, but 06 to 17 Dyna, it probably mounts up correctly. Uh, this guy is out of Virginia Beach. The owner's Eric of Death Grip MC Parts. And I'll talk about this real quick. So I asked him about color options because I know you guys are very specific about the color schemes on your bike. He should be able to get you the color that you want. So don't worry about that if you didn't want a black one. Uh, so he calls this kit the Canyon Carver, and it's not spelled how you think. So I'll throw it up there on the screen so you guys can see that. Uh, and then I asked him a little bit to tell me a little backstory of like why he made it. And he told me the reason that he made this uh, was because he didn't want to spend $900 on a GPR stabilizer. And then he also didn't like how uh, other uh, sta other stabilizers, steering dampers mounted up on the bike. And I'll show you guys what he means by that and how this one mounts different utilizing the bracket that he came up with. 
Uh, so he's got a small little fab shop uh, up there in Virginia Beach at his house, and he makes all this stuff. Well, he makes the bracket, and then he um, gets some of the other pieces, you know. He sources them out from uh, various places. But if you're interested in getting this kit, reach out to Death Grip MC Parts, uh, his Instagram. And yeah, tell them Dyna Demo sent you. I throw it up there on the screen. Uh, it retails for about 270 bucks. I'm pretty sure that includes shipping. So yeah, now I'm gonna go over the parts and then we'll throw the sucker on. All right guys, so individual parts. So here's the brackets that he came up with. Um, I, he fabbed these up himself. So this one is for the Dyna. It comes with his logo on it. You can see that, pretty sweet. Really nice job. Uh, it's all painted. And yeah, feels like a sturdy bracket. Uh, this one should be for the FXR. He wanted me to test it out, so I'll be shooting that at a later video. Same thing, a little bit smaller. Uh, cut, he hooked me up with a sticker. Thanks for that. Uh, it came with a little bracket. This one actually hooks up to the fork leg, which um, is probably gonna be the only annoying part about the install is because I'm definitely gonna have to drop my fork tubes down a little bit because I slammed them all the way to the top to get as much um, as, as much height out of the front. But I mean, it's gonna drop it down like half an inch or so. Uh, it's not a big deal because I got plus two. Uh, just comes with some mounting hardware, really standard, nothing too crazy. And then this is the steering damper. So if you guys can see that, um, if I turn it left, it goes softer. You guys probably can't see, but there's an S on there. And then if I turn it right, um, it gets harder and it's gonna make the piston uh, harder to move in and out, which if you're turning your bars, you know, uh, piston moves in and out. And that's what actually uh, is the dampening action. And then comes with a little bracket. And like I said, he should be able to hook it up with different colors for the dampener. So if you didn't want this dampener, uh, don't be deterred uh, because of the color. He could definitely hook it up with a different color because uh, I know some of you guys, that's more important uh, than anything is the color scheme. I'm just kidding. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before I talked about all these individual parts is uh, he'll probably think it's funny. He said he should probably throw out a little disclosure, you know, being all professional and stuff with his company. So I'll do it for him. Um, this is for off-road use only, you know, for the track, whatever, uh, shouldn't rely on it on the road before I get to mounting it. Uh, I'm going to tell you the reason I like this steering dampener compared to other ones that I think Harley and then I think drag specialties, maybe even Olin's offers, uh, besides the GPR because the GPR is $900. So that right there is why, uh, I don't want that one. So this steering dampener with his bracket that he fabbed up it mounts right here so you guys can already see it's going to look really clean and hardly noticeable uh, but it's still going to provide the function of a dampener which um, that's why i'm interested in it uh, it's hidden if you had a fairing on you wouldn't even be able to see this now compared to the olin's and drag specialties one that i've seen which mounts on the side of your bike like over here uh, you're going to freaking see that sucker sticking out and it's probably not going to get in the way, but I just am way more interested in this clean freaking look. So I'm really excited to mount this thing up. And now I promise you, I'm going to get to the install. So what you guys have been really waiting for, the install. Let me show you guys how easy this is. So I reached out to Eric because uh, I tried mocking this up with the bigger bracket and it didn't work. He said, use this one for the low rider S. So I'm using the smaller bracket provided. Uh, he also wanted me to mention, make sure you use this lock washer on this side, or it doesn't matter which side, but between the tank and the actual bracket. So the bracket doesn't rotate. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna put it on the second hole. Um, I haven't tried the other holes, but it should work in the middle hole. So I'm gonna do that.
All right, so I'm gonna throw on the steering dampener now. Uh, notice the direction that I'm putting it. I'm using the shorter bolt out of the two bolts provided. I'm also just gonna put this one hand tight for now. All right, so after you get this bolt hand tight, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to center it between the bars. I'm just gonna get it pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm gonna tighten down the clamp. stay in place doesn't have to be perfect that's pretty close though mm -hmm. awesome all right after that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mock up the uh, clamp that goes on the fork leg um, what I'm gonna have to do is end up dropping down the fork legs about a quarter of an inch. It's not a big deal because I already have plus two front end. Um, so I'm gonna have to end up doing that, but I'm just gonna mock this up for now. So now I'm gonna use the longer bolt and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this spacer that's provided on the bracket on the bottom hole. And then I'm gonna put the bolt through. All right guys, here she is, basically all the way mounted besides uh, lowering my forks uh, so I can mount this side. Uh, I told you I need to drop my forks about a quarter inch uh, so it mounts properly, but this is what she looks like. Um, just really clean, nice and tucked up in there, not affecting anything. If you wanted a bar bag on this side, unless your bars were higher, you probably couldn't do it, but I'm happy with that. I got my bar bag on my side, so I don't even need it, but this is what it looks like on this side. Nice and clean, doesn't get in the way of anything. Uh, one thing that did happen was, I think this was just painted with like some cheap paint, uh, it chipped off, but I don't really care. That's what she looks like, other side. Basically the same thing, all clean. I'm gonna get my brake line out of the way in a second. I already checked all the way left, all the way right. Uh, no binding. So what I'm gonna do now is drop my fork legs. And then when you guys see it again, it'll be fully done. Here she is, finished as promised. Already dropped the forks down, which was the worst part of the whole install. So you can see on this side, uh, I had them ran all the way up to here, but now I got a little bit more of a gap. Not a big deal, because like I said, I got that plus two front end. So that's how that uh, top clamp mounts. But check how clean this looks. Ooh. Right there.
There we go. Look at that. It's not getting caught on anything. Adjustable. I don't even know how many clicks it is. I'll play with it uh, when I hit the canyon. Don't want to go too far. Noticeably, a little bit more of a, a little bit more to pull it and push it through now. So definitely doing something. It's pretty dope. I just love how clean that looks. Nice and hidden in there. Uh, one thing I did have to do though, I don't remember if I showed, I had to move this all the way to the top hole. Uh, the reason for that is because I wanted it to be nice and level all the way across so it's not binding on anything. Still clean. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and then I'm going to be out for this install. So here's my final thoughts on the Death Grip MC Canyon Carver Steering Dampener. Freaking mouthful. But uh, first, I'm going to touch on the price point. So at $270, I don't think you're going to get much of a better deal, at least for steering dampers uh, as it goes. Uh, you got a couple options. You can hit up Drag Specialties, which is about the same price. But like I said, uh, I like, I prefer the mounting of this one compared to the Drag Specialties ones. And then you also have the GPR, which is probably top of the line, uh, but that's coming in at like $900. So definitely gonna save a buck getting this. I did talk to Eric today and he told me some dudes were kind of hesitant because of the steering damper. Uh, Cause I think he sourced it from uh, Japan, China, somewhere like that. Anyways, he said he could get better ones, although it is gonna raise the price. So if you're holding off on this, just because the steering damper, don't hesitate, just hit up Eric. I put his information there up on the screen. And then also in the description, you can find out where to buy this. Uh, next thing I'm gonna talk about is the color. Mine is just solid black. However, he told me you definitely can get um, he definitely can get other colors. So in no way do I think steering dampeners are an absolute fix for, you know, suspension or just uh, your riding skill in general. I do think steering dampeners may help and I'm definitely gonna put that to the test. Check out the next video where I'm gonna be ripping this thing through the canyon, uh, Ote Lakes. If any of you guys are local San Diego, hit me up and we'll go rip through that next weekend. But if you guys happen to like the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.